Okay guys, I um, thought I'd show you how I'm measuring uh, for how much I want to cut my new rear axle um, from changing from this factory 10 bolt housing to a 4 to 9 inch housing. The first thing I do is get a some sort of straight edge, it doesn't matter what it is, just as long as it's something that can touch the top and bottom of the sidewall at the same time on the tire. And I'll take that straight edge and I'll put it on the inside of the tire. Let's see if I can get a good video here. All right. And then I can measure to the inside of the inner fender wells at different points. In this case, I've got about two and a quarter, two, eight, two and three eighths inches on this side to my closest point. And, uh, then I'll check the one on the other side too. Um, then at that point, I'll take a plumb bob and I will uh, plumb bob off the face of my drums or brakes, uh, disc brakes, whatever I'm working with. And I'll make a mark on the ground and then uh, measure from both sides. And in this case, I'll end up with right at um, five feet one and a half or 61 and a half inches as my original rear axle width so knowing how much I want for clearance on the back side I'm about five eighths of an inch or so of back spacing clearance from the back of the tire again to the inner fender lip is what I'm trying to describe here and um, I can just add how much clearance I've got total both sides in this case approximately two and a quarter inches it was on both sides two and three eighths or so and then subtract my total uh, desired clearance so if I had for rough numbers two and a quarter on both sides that'd be four and a half inches of, back of clearance to the back side and I wanted to take off five and eighths off both sides that'd be an inch and a quarter um, so I'm gonna be yanking off between three three and a half inches off of that 61 and a half overall factory width and that'll put my final overall factory width on my new nine inch at about 58 58 and a half inches so very simple to measure just like I said just measure how much back spacing you're wanting on the inside uh, of the tires because what I'm trying to achieve here is the factory Trans Am with the axle the 10 bolt and a three and a half inch offset wheel it's got the tire sticking out pretty good so I'm gonna pull that back inside the fender well where it belongs All right, well, that's the basic setup for just simple measuring for what width you're wanting for your uh, new axle housing. Thanks a lot. I'll make another vid shortly.